what should we do? This age, politically, socially, commercially, morally, religiously, is fast heading to utter destruction. Great and subtle powers are at work undermining the old foundations of humanity, and working for the corruption of everything under the sun. Behind it all is the mighty power of an unseen master hand planning and controlling. He is the god of this world, Satan, the adversary of God and man. What should Christians do in the light of such things? Should we act excitedly, rushing round to all and sundry as if we saw a fearful danger impending, and do all sorts of extraordinary things? No, not at all. Let the word guide us. Our Lord tells us that the end will be as the days of Noah, Luke 17 verse 26, what is mentioned of him and his times will give us the indication how we should act. In Genesis 6 we find a condition of unrestrained wickedness, violence and corruption, so advanced indeed that every imagination of the thoughts of man's heart was only evil continually. The intermarriage of the righteous seed with the evil had resulted in all flesh being debased, yet the union produced mighty men, and men of renown, and giants, but unregenerate. In all this we see history repeating itself as the world is nearing its close. In the midst of that corrupt antediluvian scene there arose a man like unto ourselves. His name was Noah. He was a subject of the grace of God, a poor sinner saved to be a witness for the Lord. He began to live in separation from the wickedness around him, for he walked with God. That walk marvelously altered his whole behavior, making him, as intended, a contrast to and a testimony against the lawlessness rampant on every side. Divine grace made him a just man among the unjust, perfect among the crooked, blameless, margin, among the transgressors, righteous among the unrighteous, obedient, Genesis 6 verse 22, among the disobedient, a man of faith among unbelievers, one moved with fear, Heb 11, among the indifferent, a preacher for God among all the people, and through him the Holy Spirit strove with men, 1 Peter 3 verses 18 to 20. His godliness was the condemnation of the sinners of that time. The call today is for men of like stamp. To walk with God and live godly is the true answer to the question, what should we do? It is the quiet, steady, persistent and consistent daily striving, in the energy of the Holy Spirit within us, to live justly, uprightly, blamelessly, righteously, obediently, full of faith, preaching and testifying, and habitually walking with God. To act so will have its due effect. Christ will be glorified, sinners will be saved, of the rest our testimony and godly lives will be their eternal condemnation, just as Noah condemned the people of his day.